Hey everybody, it's John from 9142 Props and Armory. And I'm going to put to bed a common question that I get asked all the time in regards to 3D printing. It's one of the most common ones right up there with how much does the printer cost? How much does the plastic cost? The most common one that I get is how much does the printer cost to run? So we're going to take a look and see exactly just how much it costs me to print big things, crazy long projects that take several days something such as this shore trooper helmet right here i'm gonna let you know how much it costs to run this printer every day by the hour and how much over the course of the month with heavy usage we're gonna do that right now come on back All right, two and a half years ago when I got my first printer, a Monoprice Maker Select, one of the first questions that my wife wanted to know was, how much electricity is that gonna use? How much is our electric bill gonna go up? Is it like running a light bulb? Is it like running an electric stove? What is it like? How much does it cost? So let's take a look at that right now. We're gonna use a couple tools to do that. Uh, one of my favorite tools that I use all the time with my printing is uh, it's an electronic switch, a remote switch, a Wi-Fi enabled switch from Sonoff. It's a Sonoff POW. It's a 16, uh, 16 amp unit um, that allows me to do a couple things. It allows me to remotely shut off my printer should the need arise as I'm you know, monitoring my print remotely. And we'll take a look at that in another video. But one of the coolest features of the Sonoff is the fact that there's an app that I can have on my phone that shows me a couple things. It shows me in real time exactly how much electricity I'm using as the printer's running. Right now it varies anywhere of the CR10 um, with a bed temperature of 60 degrees, nozzle at 205, and average printing speed of about 45 to 50 millimeters a second. We're averaging anywhere... Um, jumping between about 50 watts and, and uh, 150 watts most of the time. Sometimes up a little bit higher than that, but that's where it kind of averages out. So that's a nice thing we can see and watch this number bounce around in real time and see what's going on. The other really nice thing that I like about the app um, that complements the Sonoff is the fact that I can go back and look through time exactly what my electrical usage is. So right there is the month of January and it shows me in kilowatt hours exactly how many kilowatt hours I'm using every day. And as you can see, I printed pretty much every day with the exception of a few in the month of January. So for the month of January, I used 40 kilowatt hours, 40 kilowatt hours over the month. So simple math, looking at the electric bill, um, it comes out between taxes, delivery charges, and the cost of the electricity to about 14 cents a kilowatt hour uh, where I live here in Illinois, pretty close to Chicago. So pretty simple math on that. If we're looking at an average when I'm running all day, um, these higher, uh, where I'm getting a two and a half to three kilowatt hours per day is probably where I was printing PETG for a different uh, project which of course uses a higher bed temperature and a higher nozzle temperature, so the usage is gonna go up a little bit more. Uh, but with PLA, PLA in a day, that averages about two kilowatt hours a day. So two kilowatt hours a day, 14 cents a kilowatt hour, we're looking at 28 cents a day to run the printer. Really the effect of running this printer is essentially the same as having a couple of incandescent 60 watt bulbs running constantly. So the cost is not huge. So when we look at another project, so I reprinted this Shore Trooper helmet. Okay, this was a long print. I print now over the course of that five, five and a half days, whatever it came out to be, I went through 12 and a half kilowatt hours of electricity. So 12 and a half kilowatt hours to print that. I used about a roll of PLA, a little bit more of a roll than a roll. The uh, roll of PLA that I used, the Fujitech PLA that I used for that was 12 bucks a roll for it. So $12 roll of PLA. I used a minimal amount of electricity. So if we look at that, we look at 
12.5 kilowatt hours times 14 cents a kilowatt hour. That's a dollar seventy-five. I used a dollar seventy-five in electricity to print this entire helmet. A dollar seventy-five in electricity, a twelve-dollar roll of PLA, and I have this fantastic Shore Trooper helmet that I'm going to finish prep paint. We're going to do a video on how to do that um, in the next week or so to show that process of how to complete something from a raw print like this to a finished, painted, weathered, and ready to go prop. Because I'm going to bring this with me to C2E2 because I'm going to be talking about 3D printing and how just amazing 3D printing is for people who like to costume and do replica props. How fantastic this technology is for that. So I'm going to be at C2E2 on Sunday, April the 8th, up on the live stage. Um, it is a Sci-Fi Wire live stage at, uh, at 3 o'clock, talking about 3D printing. So this is going to be one of the things that I bring with. So I'm going to finish the helmet as part of this series and then also bring that with me um, to speak in regards to 3D printing at the C2E2 convention in Chicago next month. So if you're thinking about getting a machine and the electrical cost is holding you back or it's a concern of yours, it is not a concern. All right, if you're worried about it, go around your house and unplug a couple electro electrical devices that you leave plugged in all the time, and you'll more than make up for it. It's pennies a day, literally. It's a little more than a quarter a day. I feel like I'm doing one of those commercials for just the cost of a cup of coffee, and not even the cost of a cup of coffee. 28 cents a day, I'm running the CR10 printer with the heated bed on all the time. 24 hours in a day and it's costing 28 cents 28 cents is what they charge you for an extra cup an extra little container of the szechuan sauce that's back at mcdonald's right now no that's not an ad but just a nice comparison if you want to know more about the sound off device that i used in the video and that I use on a daily basis to keep track of my electrical usage and also allows me to shut my printer off remotely. There's information about that and links in the description. If you like the video, if it was helpful, give a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Also, subscribe to the channel too. Got all kinds of things coming up. We're going to do the series on the, the Shore Trooper helmet. To go ahead and get that done, if you want information on where to get the files for that, I'll put that down in the description as well. More cool stuff coming. Lots of cool stuff up there in the past. Check them out. Give me a subscription. I would really appreciate it. So until next time, I will see you again very shortly. We'll get to work on that Shore Trooper helmet. We'll have some fun. Hopefully you'll learn some more stuff along the way. So have fun. Go make something. Take a chance. Have some fun doing it. It's John from 9142 Props and Armory. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day.